Hello guys, it's Mr. Maximo here, Vinny Sandu for the European Cricket Network with another match preview for European Cricket Series match. And this week we are in Capelli, the Netherlands for a three-day European Cricket Series. It's a four-team event. This is a match preview for the first match between Sparta 1888 and Vorburg Cricket Club. This game will begin at 7 a.m. GMT, which is 9 o'clock in Central Europe. It's 12.30 p.m. in India on Wednesday, the 16th of September. And as always, you can catch the action right here on the European Cricket Network, whether that's through our website, ecn.cricket, or our YouTube channel, ECN European Cricket Network. Or, of course, if you're in India, you can catch it on Fancode. And just a reminder, if you don't already, why don't you follow us on social media because there's so much happening in the world of European cricket. I'm certainly looking forward to getting into this series after a couple of days off. So if you want to see what's coming up, why don't you follow us at European Cricket? You could also follow me at Mr. Maximo. There's also a European Cricket Network app in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Let's have a look at what's coming your way this week on ECN. And like I said, we're in Capelli, the Netherlands. It's just outside of the city of Rotterdam. It's a three-day event. There will be five games on Wednesday and Thursday, then four matches on Friday. You can see there's four teams taking part. They'll each play each other twice. So they'll get six matches per team. That's 12 preliminary matches. Then finals Friday, we'll see the first and second teams play off for the title. Let's get straight into this match then between Sparta and Vorberg. We do have some likely lineups for you, beginning with Sparta 1888. They'll be led by the captain Munasa Bukhari with Tim de Kock to be their wicketkeeper, while for Vorberg, their captain will be Bas de Lida with Tobias Nota to be behind the stumps for them. So let's talk a bit, a bit about these two teams. Sparta, they are the host club, so I'm sure they'll be keen to impress on their home ground. Their four wins and two losses in the top class of competition this year in the Netherlands. But they're 2-0, and o, so they're undefeated in T20 competition. And uh, I think they'll have a very good chance at going a long way in this series. Vorberg, well, they are five wins, two losses in the top classer. Now, they lost narrowly in their only T20 so far this season, so there's not much form to go on there. Uh, despite that loss, I think they're a powerful side in the short formats and expect them to do very well in this series as well. I honestly think the trophy will be held up by either Sparta or Vorberg or perhaps Excelsior. Uh, they are probably the three teams I think have a realistic chance of being champions this week in the Netherlands. Let's get to Mr. Maximo's 11 to watch. Hopefully you find this information useful. And for Sparta, I have super highlighted their captain, Mudasa Bukhari. Now, he's potentially also their most explosive batsman. I think he'll bat in his regular number four position, and he'll also bowl two key overs for them. Now, this guy knows how to clear the boundaries. It'll be interesting to see if he stays in his usual number four position for the duration of this tournament or whether he pushes himself up a little bit higher in the order before the end of the week. For Vorberg, I have super highlighted their captain. So I've super highlighted the two captains today of the respective teams. So I've super highlighted Basta Leader for Vorberg. Now he will probably open the batting and he's also a pretty good seam bowler when he gets in rhythm. He's a great cricketer to watch. He's the leading scorer in the top class of this season, averaging 65.6. And he has a century to his name and he'll fancy these short boundaries in the European Cricket Series. So watch out for him. So both the captains have been in good form. They both have centuries to their name. Uh, this season, so I do think it'll be a great contest. I like to see them going head to head in match one of the European Cricket Series Capelli. I've highlighted some other players, starting with Sparta, and I've got their keeper there, Tim DeCock. I think he's an exciting young player, and he can really bat anywhere in the order. It'll be interesting where they put him. He also has a very uh, uh, important job to do behind the wickets, of course. I've got some batting options there in Faisal Iqbal. I think he'll bat number three. He's a pretty hard bidding, bat hitting batsman. He can also bowl some off spin. I've got Musa Ahmed in there. I think he'll probably open the batting in this format, and he'll have to go from ball one. I've got some bowling options there for Sparta. Use Martin Snope now. He's an opening bowler and he'll look to get some early breakthroughs. I've also got Vikram Jit Singh. Now he's listed as a bowler, but I think they could throw him up the top of the order as a sort of pinch hitting option because he's a very attacking batsman as well. This kid, he's only 17, but he's already got experience in the national team setup. So watch out for Vikram Singh this week in the Netherlands. For Vorberg, 
I've also highlighted some of their players, starting with their likely number three batsman, Tahir Bajwa. I've also got a couple of all-rounders there. Aryan Dutt, he will probably open the batting, and he's also a useful off-spin option for his captain. We've seen how important it is to have that pace-off option in this form of the game just to disrupt the rhythm of the opposition. I've got Vivian Kingma there. Now, he'll probably open the bowling. He's picked up 13 wickets this season in the top classer, so he's shown he can get those breakthroughs, but he's also been very economical, and that is so important in this shortest form of the game. Finally, I've got his likely opening bowler, uh, opening bowling partner in Ali Kazim Ahmed. So those two will likely take the new ball for their team. So let's get to prediction time. And this is a very difficult game to pick indeed. Match one is always kind of a difficult one to pick because uh, these two teams have uh, pretty similar records in the top class, and they both have some pretty strong players. It's T10 and anything can happen. Uh, but in this game, I have just leaned towards Vorberg. I'm not quite sure why, but I just think Bastelita could be the wild card in this game. So I'll put him to be the star player. But equally, uh, Moody Bakari, I mean, he could have a very good game and Sparta could win it. So I think it's going to be a really interesting contest. Like I said, probably the three teams to watch out of the four are these two and also Excelsior. Uh, Kampong are there as well, but they do play a division lower, so I think they'll have to play out of their skins to challenge these three teams. But of course, in the ECS, anything is possible. We've seen it before here on the European Cricket Network. So make sure you tune in for the first game starting Wednesday morning. It's 12.30 p.m. in India, of course. It's in the morning uh, Dutch time, but I'm certainly looking forward to this series. For all the extra information, make sure you go to our website, ecn.cricket. I'll put the link in the description of this video. If you do enjoy these videos, please leave a like and a comment. I'll get back to as many of you, uh, get back to as many of you as I can. Thanks so much, everyone. We did a great feedback on the 100th show in our last show. Uh, late last week. This is show number 101, but it's great to have you with us again. I hope you've enjoyed a couple of days off from the European Cricket Series, but we are back this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so don't miss a ball of the action. For now, this is Vinny Sandu for the European Cricket Network saying enjoy the game. We'll see you next time on European Cricket.